in the, in the world, you still could be of a course of miracle. We call it watered down. I call Marianne Williamson watered down. Right. Said. That's me what I said. But, but to me, I, I'm fine with it. It's like Devin is so heavenly bound that he's no earthly good would be sucky. But he's not so heavenly bound that he's earthly sucky. He's, he's in the mix. Right. She's in the mix in her. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Like, law functioning, the motive, like, what is the purpose of her doing that? She feels the purpose of doing that is that she wants the children not to suffer. And I'm, I'm for her with that. A big you know, children. Yeah. But one, one thing that I do think that she would have to offer is being president, is being a, pe you know, being a peacemaker. Yeah. That can't hurt. You know? <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I, I think that Sounds she good. offers having, being a peacemaker and, and like a, um, what do you call it? A, a, um, influencer. No, well, no, oh. not influencer, but, a um, another, like, way, like, another way of seeing something. Yeah. And like, a, like, like, you like, know, like, a, um, negotiator. <laughs> Yeah. What do you have also down there, good. Sally? Do you guys have a, don't you have a prime minister or something? Yeah, we do. It's a whole different system. Yeah, I bet. I don't even know his name. It's got something or other. <laughs> Isn't that socialistic, that. though? Yeah. Oh, it's all a bit messed up, really. But it's, we just, it's just is, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not really political either. I was just saying to the girls earlier that I had this vision about American politics and so I had to and I was guided to email Oprah to organize a, a specific time where a meditation was held to influence the, the uh -huh. energy in some way if it was uh -huh. possible but it had to be before there was this before and I didn't really understand that so I had I did a bit of research because the whole campaign thing goes for months and months doesn't it Months yeah, months. it's as soon as anybody starts publicity uh, on themselves or on their party. Yeah, right. Well, so it's I'm like for a president. two deal here. Yeah, okay. Really? So that's why it's now and, and the thing is so far ahead. Anyway, anyway, whatever happens, happens, doesn't it? Well, that's a nice back of your head there, Carla. Thanks for showing us that. So, oh, how, I, I thought you'd appreciate that, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, as I, as I see it as well, just like what Janet was saying, that, I mean, there's, purpose is not just in any sort of specific form, it's, it it's, has layers to it, just like it, there's a purpose in this world, there's a purpose to heaven, there's a purpose in the truth of who you are, there's a purpose in God creating the Son of God, and, you know, purpose exceeds uh, regardless of what layer and as far as Carla you're on the journey and you you see that you know you're attempting to let go of the world and for you just like in the sense of it was from my travels I I had to give up everything I had to pretty much be dead to the world in order to comprehend what this was really getting to this experience I had to give up every sort of other means of purpose but then when it happened i saw clearly what i was supposed to be doing and so i came back and did it and in the same sense as some people might not have the full aha experience of everything uh, but as much as they will and have this ability to clear up the space in order to start to see and recognize what they're meant to be doing and in the same way i i mean we can disagree in so many different fashions with everything as far as who's standing for what. And I, I remember Marianne Williamson getting all political at the, almost the first time, somewhere like in Ohio or something. And I, I also saw it as contradictory to the course and, and what it was all about. But more so now, I see that it's contradictory to this goal of awakening, but it's not contradictory to the purpose of the world. Or, and so... If like what, as you, Carla, were just saying, you do define your whoa, recognition of geez, I'm sorry. what what is <laughs> as seeing your purpose of what you're being guided to see 
is that the Course is telling you to let go of all things so that you can awaken. But see, the thing is, though, Devin, is it's like this for me. It's no different than this. It's the same well, scenario. Tell me what you know, it is. Is it, know is it, it is. okay, not not this last election, but the election before when Obama was running for second term and then Mitt Romney stepped in? Well, Mitt Romney is from the Mormon church, right? Yeah. And so so to me, that, that was a con. And I was in the Mormon church at that time. You know, and for me, it was like a conflict of interest because whatever he did, you know, would like, you know, reflect upon the Mormon church. And so to me, that's kind of like a con it was a conflict of interest because church and state should be separate. Right. Well, you know, the thing is, is that I can kind of see the same kind of parallel here is that ACIM should be separate from politics yeah. and it's it's really not going to change you know what anything. i'm saying oh. i know what you're saying but it's impossible to separate the, a person from their beliefs and 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 i mean it is what they are just like right now corporations should be separate from politics as well and yet they're they're what's running the right. place and they're the yeah. ones getting all the uh you know exactly what trump is doing in this in this sense so I see that as a religion in itself, as corporation worship, and and whatever it is, and so in the, in that sense, it's more so. And I find that really the majority of people voting will be: Do I stand? Does this person stand for the same morals that I have? Does this person stand for the same things I have? And uh, it, it's it's quite fascinating that people do vote for people just because they believe in the same things and in christianity and stuff but stuff see, like that. but see Devin, is it this is that i was in the church at the time you know whatever but i didn't yeah. vote for mitt romney because he was you know because he was a mormon no you know i voted because uh for obama because i knew that he was doing the right thing for me you know is yeah. is what i that that's that's my perception of it yeah, and that's exactly right. That it really has nothing to do with the religion. It's just the more so that you relate to a person stands for what you stand for. And even though it gets intermingled with re religion, really we can't say that uh, they shouldn't be running because of their religion because that is joining church with state. And you're judging right. the person by their religious perspective instead of their pol political. So as much as... You know, as we try to keep the whole religion but, out of it, it's impossible to do. I mean, literally, but what a I didn't want to see decision. happen. But see, what I didn't want to see happen as a member of the church then is having the church to blame for everything that political was going on. Yeah, because I he was understand. involved in the church. You so, know what I'm saying? So you're concerned that with Marianne Williamson, if she's one, and everybody that wouldn't disagree with everything it's just because she's a crazy bitch that does a course of miracles and then everybody else is going to be like oh don't talk to people who are doing the course of miracles because she's a crazy bitch that does the course of miracles i'm not i'm not i'm not okay this is it is i'm not opposed to it but i'm not in favor of it either yeah and that that's you know that's fine i would much rather regardless of what they are i want somebody that's you know, for the people and for peace. I don't care what else is going on. I want more freedoms and and peace and just giving people freedoms and helping out the people. Right. And I think Obama was quite literally for the people more than any other president aside from oh, Abraham definitely. Lincoln. I mean, I voted for him twice, you know, and... and uh... You know, some people yeah. said that I just voted for him because he was black, because of my black, you know, because of my ties with blacks. But, you know, it wasn't it. It was because he, you know, he stood for the same things I stood for, you know, yeah. and like equal equality far as marriage goes and stuff. You know, I, I mean, question. I, I believe in that. I have a question. See, he and the people I know that vote, they're either Democrats or Republicans. And the Republican, which is my sister Gloria, 
vote because she's against abortion. But that's pretty much any, every New Yorker, for me, is either, if they're for abortion, they're going to vote Democrat. If they're not for abortion, they're going to vote Republican. And I'm neither one. This is why I went up not voting. Because to me, I don't, the bastard of the bitch, whatever it's going to be in my book, has to show me more. And that's still opinion and judgment on my part. But just like with Clillery, I couldn't vote for her even I wish to vote because I think of, of a husband in that White House with another intern. So like petty little shit like that makes me not want to get involved. People like you really get involved because you have a drive because you see more. I don't see more. I see less is my problem. But okay. see, Mom, the thing is, is that, that for me, I don't right? be able to look at things, you know, outside of the box, you know, somewhat. And I've been able to look at things in a different angle. And it's not it's not the the good or bad you know, the good or evil, you know, type of thing, you know, with politics. For me, it just is. I mean, it's just indifferent. Yeah. But it still comes uh, out. If the that makes sense. It still comes out the good and bad and lesser of the two evil. It's still, no matter how you look, anytime you make a judgment, it's coming from the knowledge of, of, of good and evil. Simple as that. I, I'm once you recognize it's coming from that, it's okay. Go ahead and vote. <laughs> yeah. So what's our Course in Miracles topic today? I guess politics, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still distracted by JJ's uh, combining Clinton with Hillary and got clittery. That was clittery. Uh... I'm, I'm oh my I god! Told you everything, everything I said was telling the girls earlier. My girls say to me, "Mom, why does everything associate the sex with you?" I don't know. It's not politics. And there it is again. You see, Sally, pray for me. I'm doing what I can, Jennifer. That's funny, Devin. Uh, I was distracted after that. <laughs> I had a dream I had recently. Anyway. Hold on. <laughs> Let me move myself. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. How do I do this? Devin, can I, you? Yeah. Never... Done. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, as far as can we and recognize what, what does how does Course in Miracles even relate to uh, that thing called politics? Like what happens? Now, everybody's definitely not designed to be in such decision-making positions and and we're all kind of guided to do different things and be different specific roles in life. But uh, can we recognize, you know, where or what does this really have anything to do with what's occurring? Like A Course in Miracles can envelop and, and relate to anything and everything, but can we find it? Can we recognize it? I mean, we can be generic in the sense of, you know, everything has a purpose, everything is God, so we start to recognize beyond what seems to be different people, different uh, politic, politicians and, and such, and different beliefs. Can we recognize that it's it's already in divine order and written in, in a specific fashion that we can just find this sense of trust for it uh, of it. Do I have any elaboration, maybe or questions? Well, how does that fit into this? Like I said, I think uh, it's, it's quite easy to spot ahead. that it, how it can fit in, yeah. like it does with any. I mean, we're here in a body right we've got to right. <laughs> make the most of the journey and and this uh, my experience is that using the teachings in a course of miracles and really lining up with love and light produces the outcomes it produces that are perfect <laughs> yeah. And, and to have someone in a position of power who has the capacity to make no decisions alone or, or as best as possible try and separate from ego and have a connection to peace and love, that's got to have different outcomes that might be more positive than what they are perceived at the moment, even though if we really understand it, there's, no, there's nothing wrong anyway as it is yeah. there's no mistakes everything that's happening now is is perfect yeah. but i'm wondering if maybe it could be more perfect <laughs> with someone who's lined up more with peace 
and love, but you just don't know, do you? It, it's hard to know because people don't necessarily respond how you think they will. Perhaps it, perhaps people respond better when they've got something to fight against rather than being, because aren't we more fearful of the light than we are of what's familiar? So wouldn't it just cause potentially mass revolt because of there being, well, here's what we want. We want peace and love and people will go, huh? I'm not used to that. Yeah. Yeah, as far as the anyway. ego even will would fight off something like that and, and keep it back. or Yeah, so I totally just didn't answer anything, but it, it <laughs> no. there is no right answer, is there? There's no... Well, it depends how you define peace and love. People think it's peaceful to live in a quiet suburbia area. Uh, love is having everything you want. So like that in, in itself, yeah, okay. it's the meaning you yeah. put on it. So when, when I used to pray for the little girl all up for world peace, what did I know what world peace was? I mean, I didn't even vote, yeah. but I'm just saying. But like to me, I, I couldn't tell you what world peace was for me. I just know it was in my soldiers going off the war. That's how I saw world peace. But like that was my understanding what peace would be. I, yes, I mean, it's, interesting. It's, but I don't know what peace really is in the knowledge of good and evil, I got an idea, but I want to know the peace of God that sustains me. That's what this yes. is all about for me. That's where I'm yeah. still conflicting. <laughs> That's good. As far as even pointing yourself in the right direction of uh, figuring it out and, and understanding that there is a peace that is outside or beyond the knowledge of good and evil. And this, this whole factor of uh, what is the right laws to put in place and what are the wrong laws to put in place and agreeing or disagreeing and how ev there can be every variation in all of the country or the world that has a different opinion on that different opinion on that yeah that's it yeah so where would you go to find what is that peace that sustains you jan jan the peace that surpasses all man's understanding i used to think was the bible <laughs> and then I realized, oh, wow, that's just man's interpretation. Then I went to the born again. And then I went to, I guess, of course, no, I guess I went to spiritualism and of course, a course of miracle. And I got news to you, the uh, Dawn Aikens, NTI, whatever that New Testament thing was, yeah, excellent. Re Regina Dawn Akers. Yeah. Yes, that was excellent for me because I was a Bible belt and whippersnapper. And so I read her <laughs> New Testament. It was like, wow, it was very good. Have you read that, Sally? NTI? No, no. You, did, did you grow up in the I, Bible? Are you into the Bible? I did not. Okay, then that's good. You don't need NTI. Yeah. See, I needed NTI because I was quoting scriptures like it was like uh, medicine. <laughs> I still have the hopes to, it's kind of in the back of my mind that someday I'll be doing a Book of Mormon version like that. Oh really? Oh my God! That would be interesting. But so no, it's, NTI, it's a great idea. NTI, NTI is Holy Spirit's interpretation of the New Testament, and it's it is it takes every verse, almost every verse, and and translates it in into kind of the Course in Miracles spiritual perspective, and so it's very helpful to for people that are using the New Testament and attempting to comprehend what this is and making that transition very helpful and in the same sense anything really even like the book of mormon would be be helpful to be able to translate make it uh into something that is a little more inspirational if it can be done <laughs> i actually did start at one time i think no. the first page <laughs> no 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 yeah but you're just saying no you don't even know what you're talking about well, i mean you don't even know what we are talking about See, but NTI. Devin, I don't, I don't believe in the Book of Mormon, though. As it's translated, right? So everything it would be translated into it's, it would literally be translated differently into a different version. That but is it wouldn't have the same stories and stuff in it, would it? Not entirely. Be, it would be translated differently. I, I can't say exactly what it is, but it would be just like A Course in Miracles is more straight to the point of spirituality, straight to the point of the truth. It's not stories. It would be in the same way. It's like, what's the actual point of telling this story? And we'll get to the point instead of tell the story. 
Right. That's the idea, anyway. Because really those stories no in the Book of Mormon, I mean, they just lost me because it was like, what, you know, where it's the did, same thing with the where, Bible. Where, 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 where is the truth in all of this? I mean, to me, there was really no truth in it, you know? Well, that's besides the point. We're not here to necessarily get into that and, and debate of that factor. But in the sense of, yes, that's what sets A Course in Miracles apart from really any other religious text at all, is that it's not stories being told and here's the moral of the story finally after 10 pages. And, and it's like, yeah, this miracle happened, you know, five pages into it. And yeah, that's all good. But this is definitely straight to the point of how you can discover truth and have this divine experience yourself. And, and it's very, very practical. And it, it just makes so much more sense to have a book in that fashion. politics religion Devin do you know of any resource that's um, a course in miracles oriented to share with children uh, there is a woman like this right here you still have this bookmark and, and you notice by the, the, the globe on this oh yeah it is the globe the globe is centered with Australia, which is weird for us, you know. Now she actually is in Australia and we oh. are one dot net dot AU is is a pretty good book. I I have it myself here with the kids yeah. and, and as we are love is the second one. <clears throat> and uh, it, it might be a little more younger children. I know your son's like ten years old or so. Yeah, but they're they're pretty good. I ha I have the books in the other room. Well, yeah, Ted, cool. Teddy Teddy sent them to me for Christmas last year, and he's like, "Let the kids read it how they want. Rip all the pages out. I'll send you new ones if you, if it does." I'm like, okay, that sounds good. He's like, "Just don't control them with these books, at least." What book? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. What was that? What book is it? What book? Yeah. What book? The first one's called We Are One. I know it's backwards, but. Uh, the no, second one is. I read that one. I remember getting like a book each for my grandchildren. I can go. Them. I can go grab it <laughs> if you guys give me a minute. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it. it. I do too. And I think it would be good for me to read too. Did you read it, Janet? Oh, I loved it. And I gave each yeah. of my grandchildren about eight of them. I don't think yeah. one of them opened it. That was like maybe seven years ago. They have no interest. You know, when they ask, I guess it's when. I guess it's no longer when I was a born again Christian or when, when I was a Catholic. It's like talk, 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 talk about it. It isn't that, you know. This is why I love a course of miracle. You know, it's it, it just kind of undid whatever I thought was right. Yeah. You know, so did you get go? Did you grow up in a, a Catholic family? I was and Protestant and Protestant, and uh, my I converted to Christian uh, Catholic at thirteen, and I wanted to become a nun at seventeen, eighteen, a cloistered nun that made the Eucharist. But then really the, yeah it's just like because that's how compulsive i can be it's extreme yeah. that's and, your personality yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> the fish either goes up or goes down that's yes. true bipolar <laughs> could be manic watch me in another minute <laughs> Go i think it's a gift that. it has such a it's a gift wow i never heard it that way why would you say it's a gift well, where, wherever you direct that focus mm. is what you go hard with. Cool. Let me see your book. I want to see your book. <laughs> Maybe I can flip around the camera to its green. Oh, I like that picture. That's beautiful. With all the kids. see through the green. Yeah. What's her name? Did you say? What's the name on the front? Jennifer Black. Jennifer no, I didn't Black. read that one. She's, she's on Facebook. Page? Could you read a page or two? In a second. Here? We are love. <laughs> Could you read a page? Get your blankie. Okay, everybody, sit tight on this carpet here. I don't want to sit. Oh, page one's gone, by the way, so... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are all one, but different. Ooh. Different, but the same. <laughs> the green screen is cutting everything out. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Less pictures, more reading. Okay, okay. You know. Created by one light, we are each given a name. Flower, girl, cat, lamb, boy, rabbit. Some of us are insects, and some of us are animals, too. Some of us are people, just like me and you. We all share the same moon. We also have one sun. We all live on a planet Earth, on planet Earth. The air we breathe is one. Some of us live where it's cold. Some of us live where it's hot. Oh, there's... There's your place. <laughs> oh, there's my people. <laughs> the Aborigines? Okay. <laughs> Some of us live in the deep blue sea. Oh, yeah, there's a mermaid. Some of us live in one spot in a house. So one thing to remember is we are all one but different, different but the same. Created by the one light, we are each given a name. Some of us are fluffy, some of us are tall. Some of us have feathers, some of us are small. We all have different feelings. We all have different, make different sounds. We all see things individually, like what makes the world go round. Oh, it's definitely the magician guy. The light that shines within all our hearts, the love that makes us care, creating a world that is full of miracles in a universe that we share so one thing to remember we are all one but different different but the same created by one the one light we are each given a name we walk lightly on this sacred on this <laughs> sacred land bless everything you see the light of love glows everywhere in every rock and every being and every tree oh and that that page is ripped but that's it, it seemed like it was missing something hmm. uh, so it's it, it's well, really young toddler type uh, yeah little chill. little kids yeah. not not so well, much um to to talk about books and stuff my son he ordered a course of miracles oh, yeah. book, um, through Amazon and he got it today and he's really excited. Oh nice. And, yeah. awesome. and so he he um is wanting me to do the lessons with him, but I'm not sure about that, you know. Mm. I'm not sure because Why? I don't know much I don't know much myself. Well, it's not so like you have to teach them? it. You just read it and then talk what you think about it. It's, you don't have to know it right or wrong and just, you know, share your, each other's thoughts and about this, the lesson, right? It doesn't matter if they're really right or wrong. Just do the lesson as it states. <laughs> I mean, can we do anything else? <laughs> well, every time I read it, I see a different, a deeper perspective of understanding. So when you do it with him, it's just, it, you're going to be guided if you're leaning on not your own understanding. It would be a natural flow. You'll see. I think it's a great idea, Paul. If I, he's asking you, I, not if you say He is do. asking me. What, honey? He is asking me. There you go. I think it's a so pretty good idea. So you think I should go for it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And just trust that you'll come up with what you come up with at the time and just do it. Yeah, Don't think about it now. It might even turn into having, hosting a Course in Miracles group up there. Oh, Lord. Very rarely anybody <laughs> does a Course in Miracles that already knows about it. Yeah. I mean, even Helen didn't know yeah. about it when she wrote the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, that it even talks about that in the course. That would be very circular indeed to <laughs> suggest that you need to learn something that you already know. Obviously, you don't. 
So you think I should go for it, Devin? Hey, I just, wait a minute. What are you mean asking Devin? I already said yes. Don't yeah, me too. Yeah, and Sally. Don't listen what, to them, bitch. Devin, no. Devin, he's nothing. He's a nobody. Well, I want the de- I want the Democratic vote, the majority. Well, you got it too. <laughs> Shut up, Sally. Well, so are you you're talking about right away starting? Yeah, he starting wants to over? start tonight. Yes. So are you and JJ not doing it anymore already? No, we are. We're doing mine, but he wants. He wants to start from less than one yeah. with me. Hey, JJ, are you going to be dropped off? You okay with that? No, I'm still going to send her my stuff. What I do now is send a circle of tome and commentary because I find it very simple. And I sent it a pathway of life, kind of meditative while she falls asleep. Yeah. This is to iterate in different forms. I'm not sure if she does listen to pathway of life do you like i do and, and it is helpful the more you hear it don't you feel kind of uh the undoing of those damn layers that keeps you bonded in the freaking era what's pathways of light it I makes sense to... it's very good uh, what lesson are you up to sally what of the what with what Devin stuff 49. you're up to 49. i'm going to send oh, yeah. you 49 tonight and you can just listen to it it's more okay. like it's, it's it's just uh, someone like Myron, what's her name? The Reverend. Uh, you know. Yeah, she she's ordained by right. Pastor she Zoe. writes. She there were different people would write different things about the lesson of the day, and at some and this man reads it, and it's very calming, not like right. a New York excitement. But I say it's you're really like, good. Oh. Yeah, forty nine. That's what are you up to? No, no. If you want to get pepped up about the a course of miracles. Listen to Earl Purdy because he'll he'll pep you up. He'll get um, you right. excited about it, but I don't oh, I don't want to do more than what I like Devin's versions at the moment. Yeah. Other ver- it's all different in some ways, but this is all right. Well, I'll I'll never right. I mean the the thing is, Sally, is that that I ran across Devin and it was not by accident or a coincidence or anything, so you know, I mean, I'm sticking with Devin all the way, you yeah, know, and I get that. And, and, and I'm not, I'm not looking for other teachers, but I do, I do listen to other <laughs> teachers every now and again, but, um, you know, he's, he's my main teacher. I mean, he, he, he's, he's the one that I'm sticking with. The one you know you're what obsessed I mean? with right now, anyway. Yeah. No. <laughs> what, Devin? Okay, so, Devin is not your main teacher. The Holy Spirit, Jesus is your main teacher. The Holy you hear Spirit. Me? He's just a friggin' tool. That's all he is. A tool. Well, Mom, so you Jesus. know what? He that, that sometimes, sometimes no, <laughs> no. Listen, listen. Sometimes people need God with skin on it to listen to him. It's true, and that's essentially what. And the, that's what Devin is—is is God on skin for me. So there, it's working. So therefore, let's not fix it because it ain't broke. That's what I got there. Ugh. Oh, and this—I think it's mustard. <laughs> I got God on my skin right now. <laughs> Shut up, Devin. Quit making fun of my analogies. Ugh, that was not mustard. <laughs> it's a, it, it was a marker for my kids. Dry erase. Hold on. <sighs> so, what is politics, really? <laughs> Yeah, well, I am a tool. I like that because yes, I'm like a wrench. <laughs> I like to twist the ratchet something or other. <laughs> Definitely a tool of some sort. When I met you, were nothing but a screwdriver. You have become a wrench. Yes. Ah, melted down and reshaped. <laughs> I well, I think of Jesus in the same fashion as as a tool aspect of it for the Holy Spirit. It is just another name of another body that has discovered the truth 
And just like any of our names, we're going to move on from those as well. But the Holy Spirit will always be there. So it's a you know, re- referencing to a Jesus, you know, often gets a little confusing because we, we often, even as my status last night, we often get confused that Jesus is somehow special, a special person and separate from us. And then we're misunderstanding completely. That's why uh, <laughs> I like to refer to it as Christ. And it, it is being that single first dimension of existence that we are. You know, all... Devin, I mean, the thing is, is this, is it, that that word alone just grates on my nerves. I mean, it's like taking a, taking nails and, 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 and. Okay, but you say that's how it is? Thing, no? You say that's how it is? No, Jesus, that word Jesus. I mean, I know, but it's you like say... taking taking nails and 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 scrape it on down the chalkboard so you have nails scraping on the chalkboard right there yes where show me them you said that was in how my it was. mind oh in your mind oh so you've seen something that's not there and it's upsetting you i get it okay that makes sense well i just don't like that name that, that's okay. Yeshua or Jesus. Or... I don't even like that. I love that so much. I just love that everything that annoys us, upsets us, is just an illusion. It's just... And then you can just let it go. You can oh. just let it all go, can't you? And then, and then yeah. something else comes in its place that's, that feels better. That Yeah, I know there's no good and bad, yeah. but it, it does. It just... Yeah. It feels better if you can just let that go and just give it up, <laughs> and then some something more creative and love-filled replaces it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm finding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just in agreement. Yeah. yeah, there's no disagreement or agreement either, is there? <laughs> <laughs> no. So you go, yeah, once you think it's not in opposition anymore, you recognize that you know the love that is has been and it will remain. So it's yeah, and once you think it's upsetting or even pleasurable, and still you heal your mind essentially from imbalance in either direction, and yeah. recognize that the neutrality of love. I was, and that's a really confusing thing, I reckon. In uh, some ways, because we th- we think we're heading for a feeling like if it's not a feeling of love, that it must be wrong. But it's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been hijacked uh, by the ego and this definition of what love is, in the sense of even good. Like as this idea, God is good is true, uh, but it's not in the reference of good and bad. Like the good and bad idea of what God is is a completely misunderstanding to say, oh yeah, God is good and did not create the bad. So, no, there is no bad that was ever created, which means everything that you know is good. Everything in all variations, all possibilities, it's all good in the same sense as it it, it is all God. So it's outside of the knowledge of good and evil, not in the separation as as many people do that, you know. Oh yeah, God is good, so the devil and you're the ego and opposed to recognizing there's a way of singing that envelops all of it. Carla, That's I want to hear like your the story. Of, sorry. sorry go ahead. What, no, Devin? I was changing the subject. What are you saying, Sally? Go ahead. Oh, that's okay. I was just going to say. So there's it. It feels like what that there's just this flow of impartiality that is a deeper place to reside. Mm. That isn't on the. It, it, that's just like a balance where it all is that spectrum that comes into, I guess, a focal yeah. point. It must be some other shape that I'm referring to, <laughs> not a spectrum, yeah. but it's um yeah. So it's not. It's not being. It's trying to notice when you're being hijacked by the ego, yeah. and then just being in that flow of 
presence. Yeah. Maybe that's the word. Yeah. Like I don't know. Echo Christmas used presence. To say, awareness is aware of itself. So yeah. yeah. I'm aware of this. Huh. Say it again. I said I'm aware of this. <laughs> what is this? Well, I'm just joking with you. <laughs> about well, awareness is aware of itself. I'm aware of this. That's all. So you're making a joke of the serious moment of myself. Oh. Of presence. Oh, we're serious. <laughs> Shame on you. Oh, shit. I forgot the laugh. I, I, I am aware of this. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Uh, Darlana was saying how on, in the text in my stream the other day, she's like, I wanted to kill myself and I was face down in the shower and and this death and this scurrying and blah 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 and I and I'm like wow that that's gotta be a big shower uh what I mean, it wasn't a tub I and mean, were your legs in the air was it your face down like were you on your knees or something and she's yeah, like, but today, today she's like wait 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 wait, 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 wait no 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 I, no, no. I, I wish you did today no 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 okay. Sally you had to see Devin say I know Jesus firsthand <laughs> Are you that saying was I don't funny, know? Devin. <laughs> I couldn't believe I couldn't I, believe I Devin. Devin, I, Devin, Devin I could not I could not believe last night that I didn't say anything because it's not like me to not say anything. Oh, you're right? too busy being and so, and so, and, 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 and so and so so when when you when you were like stern with her, I mean you were like really stern with her and stuff, and then and then after that, right, Devin, you were like, you you were like, next caller, next case, we're going <laughs> yeah. on to a meditation, and you were like all calm about it. It's like, geez, how could he flip the switch on and off like that? It was not flipped. He was still in the presence of of love itself. He wasn't being pissed. Yeah. As I said to you, that's why I said to you, that was not Devin pissed. I've seen Devin pissed. Later. I don't believe that, yeah. Mom. Okay, Devin, explain the difference to her. Well, Devin's yeah. Devin's a mask I put on to entertain all of you. So, uh, really, what is everybody references to as Jesus is what I am. So, and I talk in the sense of being Devin. I have to make sure I have flaws and everything so that you guys don't feel too too bad about yourself. And then, you know, yeah. I have to make sure this mess. Oh, whatever, Devin. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> When you told me today and you said about this mass of Jesus, you were not pissed, correct? Uh, no, no. That's I what I'm trying to explain to Carla. Yeah, no, explain I... to her when you are pissed and when you were stern. What do you want to call it? Firm in the truth. She's not seeing the difference. I'm saying there's a difference. Uh, there's a difference. How's there a difference, <laughs> Devin? Because you've been pissed at me. Have I? So I mean, just it's just in the sense of like even just the words I'm using and all this stuff. You and everyone might take a lot of interpretation of what's occurring as all these different definitions, even as some of them being pissed, or being upset, or even as like the idea of sadness. But with the ability of recognizing these alternate dimensions of of state or recognizing what Christ is, any of them can switch as soon as you want it to switch. It's like when I'm tired of what is occurring, when I don't want to do repeating this over and over again, we are done. And it's it's done. It's like when you're tired of being sick and tired, it's done. If right. you actually make that decision. But you have to make that decision. But if you think you're succumbed to it and you can't you have no authority over it, then of course it wouldn't wouldn't be done. But anyway, Darlana the other day, <laughs> she's like, I tell you about the worst day of my life. <laughs> and you ask and me how big is my shower. <laughs> and you ask me how big is my shower. <laughs> like oh, That was funny. <laughs> I like that one. That was good. <laughs> I was laughing. I thought oh, it was today, funny. Today I liked that. I was laughing more. Yeah, today. Yeah. What is stirred? Well, Jesus. she she wrote like the temple. She wrote. She Carla wrote an apology though, and she sent it to me and 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 stuff. So you know what? I don't even want to talk about it because it didn't even happen. So let's forget about it and move on. Well, and I'm just telling the rest of the story that she 
she says she was woken by Jesus to listen to it again, and she listened to the whole thing, because, and she didn't realize that before she came in 45 minutes into the conversation, that everything she was attempting to get me to talk about, I already talked about, and taught, and was explaining forgiveness and how to work with each other already and so she didn't hear that part and was insisting that I needed to uh, speak it in a specific fashion and was giving these steps over and over and over again and, and but to she, me to me if I was live with you at the time we said never don't even feed those two children because I think the issue was Leanne and uh that little one over there in front of Carla, us yeah. and to me I would ignore them they're just trying to get daddy's attention yeah, I understand, and you know it's it's tricky. I mean, I mean, I'm not entirely in charge of what's going on entirely, so I'm just here well, to. Well, what I appreciate. Never mind. No, never mind. I'm just gonna fucking shut up. <laughs> nice ceiling. I'm gonna fucking shut the fuck up. Okay, then I'll mute you. There you go. Well, you go pee. And Nadine is joining us. So what are, are these other sessions that I'm missing? I'm missing something? Yeah, uh, behind the scene when he makes his you to me. Uh... So you've been in a few times. You see me live. You asked when I was, oh, when there? do you sleep? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, those. Yes. Well, yes. Okay, right. I just need to pull on you. That's in the middle of my work day, so I'm just not, don't have the time. Yeah. I'll make the time. I do the replay most of the time. I, I do a lot better okay. the replay. Well, it's uh, I do it midday here and midnight, roughly all of them. Uh, so it's, it's it's both both times. Everyone's turning sideways. I'm getting giddy. <laughs> so anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that's only happening uh, for this year, and we got about. 16, 17 more lessons to go. And then I'll be doing different approaches, different techniques, different things, not necessarily uh, different theories on the universe, but more segues to the same A Course in Miracles, but relatable in different terminology and stuff for different people. Uh, I don't know exactly what's coming entirely, but if you ever heard my podcast about the Tao Te Ching, for an example, or Ho'opono Ono, like they are just really segues into it. It's still the same philosophy and everything, but more so, uh, you know, how, how do I relate to this and taking a, both of them to much greater depths. And so this next, this coming year, it would be interesting to see what what comes but also different opportunities and conversations with different people and stuff so it's exciting nadine you're joining us but are quiet you're not you're muted i think and in the dark so how are we doing Anybody i'm mad it? What I is, think Nadine has to, uh, you have to unmute, unmute Nadine. Oh. I think she's trying to say something. Are you saying something, Nadine? You're unmuted now. You have me muted. I, I didn't. I, I was pushing the, the audio. It wasn't working. Huh. Well, I, I didn't mute you I, when you came in, so I don't know. It might do so automatically, actually. So, what's up? <laughs> Kyla's pissed, whatever's, what's new? Okay, let's Shut yeah. up, Devin. No. <laughs> At least I'm not as pissed as I was when I first got here, so there. Oh, at least we couldn't tell. That's good. It's Nadine's moment, Kyla. Yes, Kyla, mute. Nadine. It's what? It's your time. You got 30 seconds. <laughs> We, we are coming up on the hour, but we did start a little late, so it's up to everyone how, how much you want to stick around for a little while. And Sally, uh, you work on Saturday. Why do you leave? You don't need to leave us. Stick around. <laughs> I'm, I will stick around. And the reason that I leave is that it's Saturday morning, so it's my time with my family, too. 
Uh, who needs family? It's not like yeah, you've got you got us. Bad form. You got us. <laughs> I like I like these ones too. My people that are like within ten thousand kilometers. Yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, I had someone contact me from Australia yesterday. Uh, I found me through the, my Ho'oponu Ono uh, podcast, and he wants help with anxiety and stuff, and and. <laughs> I don't know the the Give whole. Give Sally's uh, number. Sally's good at that. Yeah. We'll see. I, I I have a feeling he wants a quick fix type of idea, so I don't know if I can. Well, she could be a quickie. <laughs> Are you a pimp now? What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Nadine, I don't think Sally's even open. <laughs> Change of subject. How's it going? I'm trying to make Kala laugh, but she's pissed. No, I'm not pissed. I think it's funny. You're trying to be be pimp mama, and it ain't working, man. You need a you need you need a a, a better better uh, a better uh, thing. A hat. I need a hat. I need a hat. Yeah, no. Bro, coat. What do I need? <laughs> no, you need you need more uh, more charisma about you anyway doesn't matter we're not really pimping now so <laughs> but carla if you want to be pissed we can you know that can be arranged if you're not pissed enough already i can just mute you Nadine? while you're talking Nadine, what's going on honey talk what is the right time hi so Devin, uh you worked with me coached me a little while yesterday and I got pissed, but um, <laughs> but it is actually it turned out uh, that I got unpissed because I finally could see some connections <laughs> that you were like putting right in my face. Uh, thanks a lot. But um, yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, I, when you're coaching one on one, you could be pretty effective. Like at first, I was saying, you know, how do you help somebody with anxiety if uh, you know, they haven't, like with the course, it's, it takes a long time usually to to undo a lot of things. And, but I see that there could be moments if you're working on and on, uh, you're just guided to get, it, uh, bring up the person's stuff appropriately as long as they're ready to hear it, right, I guess. Yeah, it essentially yeah. relies on willingness that when something comes up, I can point it out, and either they're gonna be more willing to see past it, or are stern enough and in insisting that you know don't touch that button, don't touch that wound, don't go there. You just... and and the willingness to see it, it's like okay, wait, yeah, I'm having some sort of upset and reaction to that. Then then we can actually start going into that, into it. But essentially, well, you know, you're guiding the whole conversation, and I'm just kind of pointing out things. But see, Devin, I mean, last night was a prime example because, because you know, of the conflict, you know, and stuff. Well, no, anyways, but, you know, okay. that that's been going on for for eons and stuff, you know, and and you know, I'm I'm willing to, you know, heal with this person. But this person isn't willing to heal with me, so you know, I mean, that's her problem and it's her shit, not mine. Uh, I I believe I talked about it quite a bit yesterday that it does not require that you be healing with another person at all, uh, but it's it's only what's going on in your mind, and it's not about how they respond or communicate necessarily or anything. This is about your relationship with God all the time, always, and never really anybody else anyway. So if you're talking to God in your mind, if you're talking to God in them, it makes no difference. But if you're not seeing God, then it's you that needs the healing. Yeah, and also, if it's bringing up emotion or anger or whatever, it's like, tag, you're it. Yeah, or, yeah, like water balloons. Ouch, Nadine, you know. I know it hurts, but it's it's you know it's better to, to get to the other side. <laughs> How's that out? You and Devin, man. Uh oh, she's pissed at Nadine. Oh boy. 
Oh, don't push those buttons. I got those buttons there, and you're not supposed to notice them. You're supposed to be Sally, concealed. Why would you and I go in a non piss room? It's the bathroom? What? Huh? There's a you want me to get pissed? pissed. That, no. <laughs> I said, why don't you and I go in a non piss room? It seems like yeah. this room get pissed too easily. And yeah, we Just can get drunk. Too easily. Just get pissed, bro. No, I'm not pissed. I just, you know, with Nadine, I mean, her and I talk, you know, a couple times a week or whatever, you know, and it's like, she always points things out to me and it's just like, you know, I mean, she has a way of, of pointing it out to but me. But everyone's pointing out. something out to you. The Anne, everyone Lulu, is. Milo. They're the people you want. Yes. Yeah, That's what you want. For us. <laughs> Do you want to be stuck in misery or do you want to just find a way through it? You know, that's that's the point. You want someone to be the best friend you can have is someone who want, helps you to yeah. see. Oh, your right, friends. Sally. And I don't, you know, I mean, the reason why I'm sticking around is because I know that you guys are not going to co-sign my bullshit, you know, and endorse it. So, you know, I mean, in order for me to get better, right, is for me to hang out with some healthy people and... So therefore, yeah. I mean, because because sickness does us, sickness spawns sickness, and two two sickness sick people don't make a well. <laughs> yeah. What's <laughs> funny, <laughs> Gavin? I don't know. What's funny? A, a, a drill makes a well. I said two sick people don't make a well. Yeah. Unless they're driving a drill. Then they can make Oh, it. shut up, Devin. <laughs> Sarcastic. <laughs> well, don't listen to them. I'm your teacher. Don't listen to Sally and Janet. Jeez. Come on. Oh, please. Janet well, Christ, Sally too. Christ, Nadine Christ <laughs> is as perfect as so-called Reverend Devin, Jesse James, whatever the hell name Christ is. <laughs> burn, sorry. What? Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> You're messing with my brand. <laughs> <laughs> How offensive. Do you see the Christ in me at all? Anybody see Christ? There's something up your nose hanging out. I there. do. I totally do, Janet. <laughs> Ooh, I told if you, Sally, my favorite. If your body isn't real, if your yeah. body oh. isn't real, yeah. okay, if your body isn't real, your brand isn't real either, Devin. <laughs> I hear some uh, I think someone's jealous of your reverendship. I think maybe you want to be a reverend. Oh. oh. I never <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> Just saying as I call it. <laughs> it's Rev Devi. Rev, Rev Dev. Rev, Master Rev Dev to you. <laughs> I wish I could hear you guys laughing. You mute yourself and then the laughing's. I have some... a terrible laugh. It's not contagious. It turns people off. <laughs> Was that was that it? Oh my god! <laughs> Finally, the real one comes out. <laughs> You asked for it, Devin, you got it! <laughs> 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 they all died choking on their laughter. <laughs> is, is that laughing or hacking? <laughs> what was that going to do? You're still quiet. Little fold leftover. Yeah, no, we, it's a, a it's smoker. a cigarette cough hangover. That's what that is. So anyway, I'm anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna change the subject here. <laughs> Shut up, JJ. God. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't get me laughing, man. No. <laughs> so I found something kind of interesting. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, quiet. Nadine's. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. Nadine, all right. the floor is all yours. So when you urinate. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll meet with myself. Yeah. <clears throat> when you use the uh, the reference that everyone's a point of consciousness, when I was out at the shopping center, I started seeing people as little points of consciousness, and it shifted everything for me. Boom, right away. You know, it was like everybody. I go, oh, that's a point of consciousness, and then it was like instead of saying. Their, their Christ consciousness or God or whatever. This was like so new that it just was like, it just brought me the same, like connected with everybody in a way, you know, but just the same. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I look that's forward good. to, uh, yeah, just, just using that idea more. Well, maybe Nadine should read the book he read to us, Devin. Oh. The what? Read it, Devin. You know, I got to read it again. You don't want to hear the other one? This children's book, We Are One. And then the other ones, We Are Love. <clears throat> Yellow says what? <laughs> I'm, I'm opening it. What is love? I'm going to go. Before, sorry, sorry, <laughs> Rev Deb. Yeah. Before you start. Thank you. You stopped me. Let's go. Okay. Bye, Sally. I, do you take Bye, any Sally. time off over Christmas? Uh, do, do you what was keep it? going with these sessions? Wait, will, will you keep going with these sessions, or you do you stop? With uh, yeah, there's the twenty second before, and I believe the the fifth or something after, and or wait, or the twenty eighth, and then the fifth. I have no issue uh, showing up and being here, as far as yet, right now. So, yep, sounds good. Well, I'll see you next week then. Bye, okay. Sally. Bye, Sally. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, honey. Don't let it end. I'll be praying for you. Okay, good. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Love to you all. Bye. Bye. Why do you say you need it, Mom? Because you have to put up with my ass. Oh, God. I need something soothing after you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I have a question uh, um, or something that's on my mind about um, the Course saying that it's more like a predestined kind of a thing. But I know that, you know, like the whole Course is based on saving time, right? So if our whole life was predestined, that wouldn't make sense right there. But then also David Hockmeister kind of alluded to uh, if you if you already got the lesson, you don't need to get the lesson. You know, I mean, you're done with that sort of thing. And then there's, if you're working with Abraham or maybe that's already predestined too. <laughs> yeah. Know? So each dimensional reference and experience is a little different. And to say anything is absolute is the reference to a specific dimension. So it, it, just like to say gravity is, fact and the law you're referring to the third dimension so even as the scripts all written is referring to another dimension also and in essentially that's why it makes no sense to many people in you know, third and fourth dimensional focus that see that they can uh, choose everything they're doing so as much as yes the script is written also is it not and is it even more so written as in like the whole script of scripts written and yet the experience of choosing between all different scripts and all sorts of different things. So as you hear people like talk about flipping the script and, and changing it or, or, or choosing to do something different, or like you don't have to do the lesson again, is, is really just on your approach still in the script uh, to not do it again or not. It's, it's in the fashion that you already see the answer you see the solution and you choose that instead of recognizing or th regurgitating that same problem that you need to learn from right so then the script changes in its essence uh, just so look at uh, like a movie for an example um someone in the movie could be doing something and then and then they choose to do it differently and or they see their destiny 
And they're like, they see their future. They have a whole future flashing before their eyes. Oh, great. And then they choose something different and change the future that they saw. The movie's still the same every single time. So yes, they might have seen a future. I just can't comprehend that right there. I just... No, yeah, just so it's outside, just like in the... if. Every time you put in the disc, you, you watch the same movie. Oh, she saw her future, then she changed it, and now it's a different future. Oh, she saw her future, now she changed it, and it's a different future. It's like, even if it happens, it's still written in the script. Like, the whole script from the beginning was the same. It's not really changed. That's why, and, I mean, you just what you thought was your script was changed. Oh, so, okay. Oh, so, oh, 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 yeah. So, like, The Course of Miracles uh, is in the script so that you can save Ex time. Yes, and exactly. play that out. Yep. yep, it's a safeguard that we put in place because we wanted to go so far out into forgetting uh, and, and other modalities and everything that we also wanted to be able to come home again because wow. we knew that we were literally forgetting everything about ourselves. Let's see... So, okay, so so basically what you're saying is this. Is, is that no matter how many times we we watch a movie or or read a book, the same book, that we pick up different different things and and it's still the same movie or the same book. Yeah, and in, in a way, I mean, it depends on what you're thinking I'm, that associates to. So it can be different things because uh, depending on which dimension you're re referencing to, again, even like in the seventh dimension, you have almost a trillion of the same script in a different fashion. So you can pick uh, your own ending type of a story. You know, choose your ending in this way or that way. Kind of like Alfred Hitchcock movies. Uh, I don't know for sure. I don't know the reference. I know the name, but I don't know. Is there actually different endings? Yeah, because like, because like, like he'll insta in stuff, and then it's like a it's still a mystery, and you have to figure it out yourself. Uh, sounds like you ran out of a budget. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it it really depends on like what your focus is or how you see reality and every option is available um, this alternate universal perspective of having alternate universes is entirely possible to you know choose even a timeline in which you don't even exist anymore so there's all sorts of variations are you saying there's scripts written on every single dimension level uh, the, as far as it is a dimension to experience alternate universes. So as far as on every alternate universe and timeline, yes, there is a script for every single one of them. So it's just like a projector cranking out <laughs> the universes. And I mean, yeah, like in so the, like in the like nines, if, I, if I'm awakening, but <laughs> like in the movie, the nines, you've seen the nines, uh, right? He was playing what? three, the nines. You seen yeah. that? Yeah. He's still really quiet. I'm sorry. Um, he was playing three different people just in that movie with different stories all at the same time because he's a being that can do that and he's in it and believing each and every one of them at the same time individually. And it's kind of like that is that you, you know, you have all every option available. So in this one one mind for an example i can live you as much as i can live me and uh, you know differently at any time as far as the christ mind looking and perceiving through each of us so this is like a we open it up a huge can of worms and essentially that's what this next eon is about actually pandora's box but it uh Definitely. This is giving me a headache. Yeah, it's nothing uh, entirely important to comprehend. In fact, if you don't apply forgiveness and see past the definitions of that you have of the world, essentially it's almost impossible to really comprehend. But then you're just living the script that was written. I still don't. Uh, 
But yeah. Does, yeah, the forgiveness the is letting change? go of the script. Does the projector change ever? Like, why is why is it like, well, if you learn the lesson, then you don't have to learn it. But you're saying that that was actually in the script. But so the, and yours... that the course of miracles is the safeguard so that we could come back into our original reality and stop yeah. playing out all the scripts. So your association to the character in the script has no say whatsoever what about what's in the script. But the Christ aspect, the, as in you know the, the movie projector, can change it, what it's choosing to see. But then when it's choosing to see Nadine, Nadine has no choice whatsoever in what she's going to be doing, even if she thinks she does. And they, so it's, if you're associating this to the person, then yes, it's going to be a little difficult to comprehend. But if you're recognizing that this is about the Christ, then it's a little easier to comprehend. What, what is it about the Christ? That the Christ is the projector or the script maker or what? Yeah, that everything is in in the design from that. Uh, as what you're saying about the script never changes, really it never changes for Nadine or each Nadine and the experience of that. But to come out of the script or to see beyond the script is to essentially see a more original idea like that which is Christ was before scripts were written. So that part, if I become aware of beyond the Nadine, and I become very aware of my point of consciousness that's part of the Christ mind, that is the Christ uh, mind. Yeah, the Nadine is the point of consciousness, or even the soul in which incarnated as Nadine is a point of consciousness, a little bigger, but <clears throat> the consciousness that it's all has points is what is the Christ. So there are no points in the awareness of Christ, it, but like Jesus Christ is a point of consciousness in uh, association to the rest of Christ. Just like you are, I am a, a point in which, or say a, a movie theater in which the Christ can go sit in and watch. How about that? I got the, no, the script I is still written in the movie and I come out of that one, I'm going to go into Nadine's movie. The script's still written in that that one. I come out and go into JJ's movie and, and so on. But the movie stays the same. So when I was seeing the people at the, at the shopping center and I was seeing them as a point of consciousness, I thought I was seeing their connection with the Christ mind. That's helpful, yeah. So what you're, you're really doing is it's only in your mind and you're starting to recognize that connection about what is is called the Christ in the sense of you're seeing in them what you're starting to see in yourself. So you're using them as that teaching aid as it's intended. And that's good. All right, ladies. I think that time has come. How are we doing? I release you from the obligation of pleasing us. Oh, women. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Then I will talk to you all again as we have. All right. I feel like there's later. something missing here. <laughs> something. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Have a bye. beautiful day. <laughs>